okay so so we have discussed uh, uh, th three kinds of uh, three uh, different ways of implementing the front end of the compiler that the first first thing was the lexical analyzer implementation through finite automata then parser implementation through can be implemented through push down automata and we can decorate the parse tree and do semantic checks by creating a data structure what we call as a symbol table so i will give you an exercise to create a class c++ class for symbol table implementation so it is nothing but you should think uh, what should this symbol table class look like and what it should contain for example so it should be able to contain the information for various declarations like char c okay so what it should so at least a symbol table should contain the symbol name and the symbol type understood then it can be char c 20 so it can be a vector string vector it can be an array of characters so you can decorate the parse tree with with the thing that a given variable is an array of characters okay so so in this way you can do various uh, kind of information population so so as a small exercise i will give you to create a c++ class for symbol table create uh, so populate all the members and the respective functions also okay now now let us now try to see so in industry uh, various tools are used to to do lexical analyze analysis and parser generator okay so for lexical analysis the tools we use is called as lex okay or flex okay flex is an advanced version of lex so 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 i will be giving you a small demo like how flex looks like okay now the lexical analyzer as i have already told you is nothing but a finite automata now suppose uh, for a given language uh, you need to create this lexical analyzer on your own then it is it is quite cumbersome and uh, and you have to take care of every characters and every state so as i have already told you it is a finite automata so you will start with switch so in a c program how it will look like you will start with switch current state and in every state case item you have to switch current character you have to take care of the current character and on the basis of that you have to go to the next state understand so so you will start with a starting state and you will start with a starting symbol so switch current state and based on what character you are and uh, you are uh, in, means processing you will move to the next state and till and if you reach at a final state then that uh, that uh, substring will be a valid token and if you do not reach at a final state then it's an invalid token okay now lex and flex provide you this flexibility so so you must be remembering one concept one theorem in finite automata that let me write it down so sorry so lex or flex are based on the concept that for a given regular expression we can always create a dfa so you must be remembering in regular expression chapter in finite automata class that there is a theorem that 
if there exists a regular expression for a given language then I can always create a DFA out of it. Similarly, if I have a DFA for a given language, I can always create a regular expression for it. Okay, so Lex and Flex use that concept to implement internally a lexical analyzer. Okay, so so how a Lex and uh, or a Flex to look like? I'll give you a demo. So. So uh, let, let me remove first. So this is my first program that is first dot ll. So Lex has an extension file. So Lex files has an extension called uh, ll. Okay. So so here you can see that it has three parts. Okay all separated by percentage percentage so so one part of the file is called the declarative region where you put the various declarations to keep the information okay second part of the file that is separated by percentage percentage the second part of the file is called a regular expression region so what are the valid patterns you want to match okay understood and the third is the function part so so you can put a direct main function here or you can put any other functions which will uh, which will be used while doing lexical analysis so so for a regular expression so so this is the most important part okay so the language tells first the high level language tells me what are my valid tokens can be and from there i need to create regular expression for it understand for example for example if i say that suppose i have a, i have a given language so suppose if i'll say that decimal numbers in language l can be one or more digits then how it should look like so what is the regular expression for a decimal number so decimal number will be a token in the given language okay and what should be the regular expression for it so regular expression will be what 0 to 9 understood it can be 0 to 9 or 0 to 9 star okay <coughs> so this is the representation for a decimal number in uh, for a given language so similarly you have to create various tokens okay suppose I say that any variable name should be an alphabet following any alphabet should start with should should start with an alphabet okay following any alphabet or digit so then how what should be the regular expression for it so it should start with an alphabet now this can be a to z okay so i can write like this a to z or capital a to capital z sorry capital a to capital z okay so it should start with this but after that it can have many characters so so it can be a to z capital a to capital z or it can be a digit so i can put 0 to 9 understood and this can be one or more occurrences so i'll put a star so this way we create regular expression for lex understand 
for example here i have shown you a simple uh, pattern so you must be remembering in c that every slash n uh, means backslash n represents end of line so whenever whenever you encounter a backslash n okay so so we found a valid token now this is the action part so what you should do so uh, what i do i just increment the line counter okay and i increment the number ca character counter and this dot represents any other pattern okay so except slash n what are the other things means uh, whatever pattern it founds it just increment the characters understand so so this small lex program is to count the number of lines and number of characters okay okay so in this way we provide the pattern information in a, in the form of a lex file what we call as a lex file okay now after that so in your lab i guess lex or flex must be installed if you write which flex it will give you user win flex or means uh, it will give you the path where the flex is installed okay so so after that what this flex does is flex will generate is scanner or a c program for you okay so if you flex and you provide the oh, first uh, the lex file that is first dot ll okay so you will see you will see that that there is a lex.yui.c has been created okay and this lex.yui.c is nothing but a finite automata implementation okay in a c program and this flex has created all these things okay so you don't have to write a c program on your own what you have to do is just you have to provide the regular expression patterns and what action should be taken when we encounter that pattern in a given program okay that format so you will follow that format and create what we call as a lex file first.ll then we will compile then we will use this flex binary to convert that lex file to a c program okay lex.yy.c now if you compile this uh, lex.yy.c okay and and you have to link it with lfl okay you must remember you should remember that so first you use a flex to convert a lex file to a lex.yy.c then you compile this lex.yy.c with minus lfl of option so it is a linker that will link with the corresponding flex file okay so 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 now we have created a a.exe now suppose my test file is like this okay so welcome to the class of compiler the test file contains a single line so let me modify that okay and in the line 2 let me write today we are learning flex so, so currently this file has two lines and it has certain number of characters I don't know so we'll see how much characters are there so so if I parse this thing so if I use this binary a.exe with the text file just a minute so so you can see the program tells me that okay i have two lines and 61 characters okay so this thing we have done it through flex understand so we we try to match the pattern for a new line that is backslash n whenever we encounter backslash n we increment or we take the action that increment my line count and any other characters I encounter I increment the character count okay <coughs> so this way flex is implemented thanks so we'll be we'll be discussing in details about this lex and flex in 
when we go to chapter 2 okay and i will give you uh, a more difficult exercise to implement in flex